Nobody is for the terrorists. Nobody is for anyone who blows up children. Yeah. Right. Let us be clear. Ninety hmm. percent of producers have lost their shirts. The government hmm. has made money on everyone. Hmm. Anyone else in the film industry? Uh, I am glad that I have worked first after Ram Gopal Verma. I have worked with Sudhir sir very closely. Uh, he made shoot, hmm. called me, okay. and asked me to come and see the film, and said, "I Sudhir don't think I made it. Huh? It never <laughs> went once to the set. <laughs> so, uh, you are supposed to work, and suddenly there are other fifty people. So how do you direct? In cinema, makeup is not prettification. Hmm. It is sometimes making someone look ugly, yeah. looking bad." 80s, 90s films. Yeah. You see, the worst-looking person is the heroine often, and there are very responsible people there. And I have spoken to a, some women whom I know from Kerala, who are now in charge, and I trust those women a lot. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Shosha. I am Tita Chaudhary in conversation with Sudhir Mishra and E Nivas. Hello. Hi. How are you? Excellent. All good. Great, great. Uh, tell me, so Tanav too. We're going to talk about that. How does it work when you have uh, two creative minds, brilliant minds working together? Are there ever creative conflicts that happen? But you know, if there are two minds, then there will always be two opinions sometimes, yeah. right? But when you collaborate on a series together, then uh, because I was doing the first season. Then uh, I had to take the second season forward, hmm. the continuity of it, hmm. and then you know. Uh, but when E comes in and directs, then there is an individuality. Yeah, he can't. You can't sit and sit in, 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 on, in, on a monitor and say, "Are you being Sudhir Mishra? How do you do You can't do that. No, but you have to. In, in, when you collaborate on a series, then you have to agree. Hmm. Ki ye character, this is the character. This is general style of shooting. This yeah. is the, you have to come to an agreement. Hmm. The idea is a collaboration. Uh -huh. no? Season one is already set in terms of the story, uh, world, premise, and most of the characters is already established, and the hmm. same characters is following in season two. But the idea is not to get two directors into different, different their individual style. Idea hmm. is to because already the world set, collaborate each other and make tell the story in a proper manner. Sir was there to introduce to me with all the characters. Initial days he was shooting. I was observing how he was treating and everything. I tried to adapt the same way, and then so there, I think there is no conflict at all. And he treated me like a kid brother from the day one, and <laughs> there was no conflict at all. And then, no rare, no conflict. No conflict. Very rare. I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good thing, I think. Ah, very good. So you know, Tanav season one. And we um, don't know each other very well before. That helps you think that helps? But I we know, know. It's like we I mean, met. No, but I respect his, uh, I Work. know who he is, yeah. I no, but I'm saying we were not great friends before we were yeah, yeah, yeah. shooting. No, I mean, yeah. it's not that we were yeah, meeting. Yeah. Work-wise, yes, yeah, and also oh. like, yeah. So, we like each other's work. But hmm. now after this show, then we meet regularly without this, ah, with what? shoot, without shoot, whatever it oh, is. You we do? just make any, some kind of bahana. Just, just, just to meet to, each other. Just to meet all of us <laughs> and then, yeah. That's great, which is beautiful. Uh, so, you know, ta ta Tanav, sorry. <laughs> it's it's a reimagination of Fodha, and of course the setting is different. You know the political uh, setting is also very different. Um, did 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 the Fodha makers ever? Do you know if they watched it? If they had anything to share? I think some of them. I don't know the one. I mean, season one. I think they must have watched it. I think uh, they have seen it. You know, if you put anything, uh, they put uh, uh, any trailer or anything in Instagram, Twitter, and everything. Hmm. And I see them. They tag to the Israeli studios also. Yes, hmm. studios and everything. And also, I think they are very much part of it. They are at least. The world is happening. right. Yeah. No reimagining. Yeah. That's a tale of two countries. Hmm. This is a tale of our country. So we were very clear about this, and when you bring me into it, then it's and and Samir and I had applause. Luckily, Samir and I and applause and I, we had the same view, so we adapted it together. Mm -hmm. Where we turned uh, the story from, uh, uh, it's not us versus them. Yeah, it's us. Mm -hmm. Within it, there are dissensions, right? And, and uh, you disagree with the idea of things, you mm -hmm. know. And, and, what to do. So we tried to treat that thing, was the STG, the task force also has Muslims. 
So, I mean, it's not that it's a Hindu versus Muslim, that other side so-called is treated with the same level of compassion as this side. So, if you go into Kabir, S.T.G. Farooqi's family, mm -hmm. you treat it with the same thing. And then when you go to Omar in the first season and the terrorists, you have his family, his wife, his mother, his children, his sister-in-law, his brother, you treat it with the same level of you know, detail and sure. uh, grayness and whatever and goodness and tragedy, whatever. So, that I think balanced it quite a lot. And everyone, when we went to see shoot season two, everyone in Kashmir seemed to have seen it. And nobody at least came up to me or to the others in the unit. And a lot of fellow Kashmiris are in the unit. My associate director was a mm -hmm. Kashmiri. Then nobody told us that uh, uh, you treated us or had bad things to say. No, the balance was really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody is like. I haven't taken any sides, that is the, what you mean to say. But, yeah, exactly, you know, uh, great, I was just coming to that. I think uh, achieving this kind of an objectivity is difficult, you know. We, uh, how do you not let your politics really interfere with what you're writing, what you're showing, what you're bringing to the table? Well, why should you not let it interfere? Does it? <laughs> of course That's it does, you're a human being. Yeah. So, I mean, where you come with your fitrat, no, I mean, you come with your view, views, it'll come. I mean, you try and be loyal. See, there is, besides the, all the conversation, there is the dharma of storytelling. Hmm. Yeah. So, if you follow the dharma of storytelling, then, and if you are not a cheap scriptwriter of either or, right, then, you know, you will treat every character with respect hmm. and detail. And when you start doing that and when you direct and everything, we're treating everything with respect and not judging, not standing in judgment. Because, and we are not looking for solutions. In the end is a question, hmm. right? For solutions are for people to see, right? So, I mean, I think if you do that, then the dharma of storytelling, the dharma, keeps you safe. Hmm. You will always not go wrong. Yeah. I try and do that. You know, I try and treat the women and everybody with a lot of detail and pay a lot of attention. So, this Fatima girl in season 2 becomes a terrorist bomb. But you treat her with real love. You don't agree with her action. Mm -hmm. You don't agree. She's going wrong. Right? So, nobody is for the terrorists. Nobody is for anyone who blows up children. Right. Let us be clear. Hmm. There is no sense in that. But it's a complex tale. Of it all, is. And it's a complex place. So that you do. And if you treat that well and if you have that conversation, I think that's that's the beginning. We are not politicians or we don't have political answers. No? I think that's correct. because That is because we have the Kashmir is the most complex yeah. uh, state in our country. Yeah. I don't think this story has been adapted any other place. Mm. So you adapted in that place and there itself there is internal conflict about the land. Mm. And then those land, you have a lot of grey characters because now we haven't taken any sides of it. Just projecting the way it is and uh, being true to the characters what it's been written. And yeah. then exactly treated them like the most utmost sincerity. Right. So you can see the people and they are not uh, black or uh, white. They are the, all are grey. Sure. All are grey characters. All human beings yes, are. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And that is the beauty of the entire uh, season. And it's not yeah. either or, even in the original, you know, it's who kills the terrorist at the end of season one. Hmm. His own prodigy. Hmm. So, there is a complexity there also. So yeah. It's not that side is not this one. There are one people who are going against the terrorist. Hmm. When he's saying that I'm going to destroy, his own side is saying, this guy is going mad. Hmm. Out of his loose cannon, he needs to be stopped. So, there is a complex tale there. It's not yeah. just simple. I mean, besides that, it's a thriller. And yeah. And look, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, besides that, there's a lot to offer also. Oh. <laughs> it's like, I'm sure, yeah. There, there, is there is a, there, there's a triangle happening and there is a complexities of the situations mm -hmm. happening. 
line of duty happening disturbed relations is getting back again yeah. how it is coming apart from the covert operations yeah. ugly conspiracies oh. there is so much to oh, it oh, uh, good change that all comes in storytelling yeah hmm. if you stay true to the craft yeah and the art then you will rarely go wrong hmm but then what there is that goddess of cinema and art <laughs> looking up Ah, they look up. There is absolutely. She looks yeah, after. Yeah. She looks Just after being, me at least. Uh, being true yeah. to the craft. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah. She yeah. looks after me. You know, I love her, and she looks after me. She saved my life, and I make my <laughs> I make an effort to be loyal to her. That's amazing, sir. That's ah, like really beautiful. nice. Yeah, very ah. beautiful. Ah. Okay, uh, you know, since we are talking about Kashmir, on one side I've spoken to directors who feel that you know whenever we talk about Kashmir, the backdrop is always grey, and so we want to show Kashmir the beauty of it rather, the beauty of the valley. And on other side, there's also you know there are people saying that why should we shy away from showing what's happening in the valley? On which side do you stand? We no, stayed we, we stayed away from the beautiful we, side of ah. Kashmir. Hmm. <laughs> we stayed away with the most grunge and then. the deep interiors of kashmir hmm. and then what's happening kashmir is not a backdrop yeah it's, it's integral to the show yeah and, and so it's about people yeah it's about it's about people and it's about the tragedy in which they are with in which a lot of border states hmm. are hmm. Hmm. it's a geopolitical problem also so you know i mean it's it's a tough one you know yeah it's not easy yes yes uh you know coming to the casting i think each when you watch the show you feel like these characters were tailor made for these actors and you know i think it's it's really of course for you also i think a sense of breather a relief that you can actually cast actors without thinking of the you know the commercial outcome ki are star chahiye kyunki we need the particular project to uh, soar or to travel i think which is a breather when it comes to ott but i want to ask you have you ever been in that situation where you had some sort of a conflict with the producer because they wanted you to cast a bigger star and you wanted to go with an actor yeah sometimes it happens uh, i mean because it's a practical medium no mm. cinema especially yeah uh, i mean filmmaking theatrical film make uh, are, are, i mean you have to understand that let's say you know i mean there is a statistic since hmm. the beginning of cinema release cinema in india hmm. 90% of producers have lost their shirts the government has made money on everyone hmm. so you can't just reject producers hmm. there is a practical issue here right but you know and then there is a creative so that tug between the creative and the that war will remain mm-hmm. right sometimes this wins sometimes mostly if the creative and the producer are on the same side then the best films are made yeah but what it definitely has an edge from the beginning mm-hmm. base where basically cast actors who can actually imbibe the character mm-hmm. who can own the character and do it films definitely if it comes to a theater then there's a lot to say about who to cast and everything but in the ott even everybody is kind of understood ki who can actually convey the role convey the role better yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Isar, I was uh, reading one of your very, very early interviews. This was in 2008, and uh, you, of course, said that you know because you have worked with Mr. Ram Gopal Verma, you said that you know he is my mentor. He's and still my mentor. He is, of yeah. course. <laughs> Whenever you write or come up with a story or something that you are directing, uh, you always reach out to him, you know, just to take his input. So is that still what it is like between you both? Yeah, yeah. see, uh, our relationship is there. I he, he calls me sometimes. He saw he called me after watching the trailer of Tanav Two also. Okay, what and did he, he say? He really liked it very okay. much. Uh, he said initially when he saw the trailer and he says it's, it's for a film. So then I had to tell him it's for the remake. It's for a series. So okay. he really liked. Yeah, he really liked the Kashmir the way it's looking also. Hmm. So we have that still still the same relation going on. I'm always. I I have never worked with anyone else in the film industry. Uh, I am glad that I have worked first after Ram Gopal Verma. I have worked with Sudhir sir very closely yeah. on the set and everything. Uh, so who, who do you think is more intimidating? Uh, so that's a very tricky question. So <laughs> loyalty is <laughs> because Ram Gopal Verma number one. But he says that Ram Gopal. <laughs> he is saying who is he is not scared of Ram. Yeah. No, I am not no, scared no, at no, all. No. So none but of his assistants are scared. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he is certainly not scared of me. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I mean, why, but, but yeah, I mean, Ramu is his mentor, no? So I mean, there will be that Guru Shishya. Sh- exactly. Yeah, yeah. See, I have assisted, joined him as a 13th assistant out of uh, 12 was 13th assistant. I was 13th. So my journey has been being there with him, and then chief AD, whatever you call, and then. Then he produced my first film, Shul. Yeah. And then he produced my second film, that's Love Ke Liye Kuch Bhi Karega. See, look at the journey and then, you know, I have seen it. Hmm. So I think, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, this, this is, this is, Tanav, uh, Tanav too is more, more uh, thing for me is because I never worked with any other director in my life. Yes. Apart from Ram Gopal Varma, I assisted there and then your first two films also happened there, which he's supervising. And this is like great opportunity for me to work with Sir, and then be hmm. there with him in the story discussions, in the how he thinks and all that. I have learnt a lot actually on this. Hmm. Just in this collaboration, I have learnt a lot. Yeah. Hmm. You are saying something, sorry. No, no about I mean, Ramu. what was I saying? I mean, I'm just saying that, uh, you know, Ramu, when he made Shul, hmm. called me okay. and asked me to come and see the film and said, I, Sudhir, don't think I made it. Huh? It never <laughs> went once to the set. <laughs> Which is very beautiful for, uh, you know, because sometimes directors make bad producers. They attempt to control, mm. you know, a lot of times. And there has been very sad stories like that. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah. but you know, with Ramu, I, that's, I mean, I'm, I'm, he, I didn't know him then. Okay. So, you know, I mean, he, I remember his call. Oh, nice, sir. That's so nice. Uh-huh. Great, okay. Uh, so, earlier this year, I remember you had posted something on social media about the entourage that comes along with actors on a film set. Sometimes there are 120, 180 extra people on a film set. No, I mean, I'm not talking about the entourage only of film uh, okay. of the actors. Okay. The entourage of everybody. Yeah. Everybody. You know, the light man, we are supposed to have become tech, less technology. But more people come on lights. So we are using faster lenses and this, and you are supposed to use net, but I see it. More people. So there's 180 people on a set. You enter a room like this. Hmm. Now, you, you with the four actors, are, you're supposed to work, and suddenly there are other 50 people. So how do you direct? Yeah. How, so, I mean, I mean, I've had a lot of fights on this. Here, at least half an hour give to the director, no? Absolutely. I'm coming on this set. This seems to, the set seems to belong to everybody else but the director. Yeah. For half an hour, I have to think. I have to be on my own. I have to see how it plays. You know? mm-hmm. So, you know, that's the big problem. So, I think there's just, just too many people. You know, and with, with every actor or with everyone, there is an entourage. There is a necessary entourage. Right. If there is a young female actor on an outdoor, mm-hmm. if she says, I need my mother along mm-hmm. or my friend along or, security or my alone. security, necessary. Right? So, one, I have I've never understood the idea of makeup. <laughs> right? Because in cinema, makeup is not prettification. Hmm. It is sometimes making someone look ugly, yeah. looking bad, hmm. tough, three days without food and water. Right? And you show a character. Yeah. So, I think there should be one makeup person. Direct, like director of photography, mm-hmm. that's one director of makeup. Mm. Somebody who looks at the overall, your skin tone, yeah. your skin tone, the DOP, you know, you sit and you, open an album anytime. The worst is the bride. <laughs> because she's made up so much, you know, because you have to match when you print, you have to match yeah. with the uh, skin tone skin of the tone. other guy, the guest who's standing behind. So she's flaring and burning out, no, all the time. <laughs> yeah. Right? So, I mean, you have to have a director. It's bad. The women look. You see the 80s, 90s films. Yeah. You see the worst looking person is the heroine often. Because this over made up and he can't light and match and in the end you have to print. Yeah, yeah. So you cannot do makeup without taking the DOP into consideration. consideration yeah. You cannot. You have to sit with the DOP. Mm-hmm. And, and it also helps DOP and yeah. uh, who all other actors in the but field. So there's think? too many unnecessary hmm. people on a set. Sure. The necessary people a good, for example, now you have some vans. Hmm. So there is security for some people, hmm. women can change in a place, hmm. you know. But there is too many vans. Hmm. Yeah. But, you know, so, like for instance, for the director, why do I, I, I don't need a van personally. I need a loo. Hmm. Right, so I mean, you can 
you know because otherwise there's too many people and then the money goes into plays and i'm talking about not big films yes uh, i get but on independent cinema or limited budget films the money doesn't go to plays where it shows on screen mm. yeah absolutely absolutely right. yeah. so directors get pretty pissed off hmm yeah no but this entourage uh, issue that we are talking about do you see it only in recent years taking this kind of a shape or has it always been there no i mean always the biggest actors had one two people yeah right so this kind of entourage is not there before before, before yeah this yeah. is massive massive no, sometimes 20 people for some sets <laughs> imagine how much it must I'm be told, shooting up the production you know, cost sometimes it's big films yeah yeah there's a lot of money so it's kind of employment Right. Right. So they. Yeah, that's correct. So, I mean, if they're paying and you know there's a, a lot of money, so it's life is a party. Mm-hmm. So who am I to say? Say it. Don't do. I know. I know. Pay is there. You know, when people are shooting. So I mean, I'm just saying that there are films and films and some films mm. can't afford. I think you should vary to film to film. Yeah. It. Film. Absolutely, yeah. I get some, it. Some some films can afford, some films cannot afford. Yeah. yeah. Just the affordable films do as much as you want, yeah. uh, however you want. Ah, that's a big star. Yeah. So you know, I mean, he, the film is being made because of him. Hmm. You're getting two hundred crores before him. You can't tell him twenty people yeah. don't bring. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> because you know the film is being he's having fun. Yeah. Everybody else is having fun because of him. The film is being made because of him. Maybe so. Your house is running. So there's no, there. <laughs> there's no complaints there. There is no complaints there. Sure. No complaints. But uh, will we see Tanav three on a slightly different note? If it note? works, if it works, Tanav, if everything is because the, uh, you know if the previous uh, season edition works, the season works, and the next, I think so. Hmm. I'm, yeah. I'm, it's a it's a good show, well done, great performances, complex characters. Yeah, it's a lot of fun watching. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. you will love it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, looking forward to that. Very lastly, sir, a few years back you had made a film called In Car. So. what can i say more than the film do you see that see, i'll tell you what there yeah. are people who tweet hmm. and get very pleased because they tweet i am a film person who whether it is afwa whether the politics of this country whatever i feel i make a film on hmm. so whatever my feeling on this issue is and to state the obvious any time there is exploitation Who's with that? Except that when you're talking about Kerala, we don't know the nuance of the Kerala industry. I have no idea about the 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 what I, went wrong, what, what went, went wrong, there. and and there is a committee, and there are very responsible people there, and I have spoken to a, some women whom I know from Kerala who are now in charge, and I trust those women a lot, right? I don't know if I'm at a liberty to name them. No, sure. And I think they'll take care of it. Hmm. I think Kerala will manage well. Now, beyond that, I don't know the specifics. So, I mean, I if you take a name, I have no yeah. idea about no, who sure. it is. No, sure, of, uh, of yeah, course. I don't know. I, you know, so I don't know. Hmm. I mean, so it's very unfair to talk in a situation where you don't know. And yeah. if you've seen no, you've seen Inkar, then there's no answer. True. Absolutely. <laughs> no, hopefully, uh, better times come for all of better us. Better times are here. Yeah. yeah. Better Even times for... are already here. I'm okay. Telling you, in Bombay, there is a lot being changed. Better times are here. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much to both of you for this conversation. Good luck for this season, and Thank hopefully, you. many more seasons of Tanav. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.